Hello and welcome to Chair Yoga. Take a seat if you haven't already and scoot your hips to the front edge of your chair where you still feel supported by your seat. And then shift your sit bones back and broad. Take your knees a little wider than your hips and line up your ankles underneath your knees. Then let your low belly come forward and lengthen through the low back. Lift from hip to armpit and roll your shoulders onto your back. Then let them relax. Your arms can be in your sides, your hands on the legs. And then bring your head back into the back plane of your body. Let your eyes close and begin to take a deeper breath. As you slow down your inhale and your exhale, feel the weight of your hips pressing into your chair, the weight of your legs helping your feet sink deeper into the floor. Take a big inhale into your shoulders and on your exhale, let them relax just a bit more. Unclench your jaw and release the muscles of your face. Let your eyes be soft behind your eyelids. Then draw your hands together at your heart in Anjali Mudra. Take an inhale and lift through the top of your head. And as you exhale, bow your forehead down towards your hands. Take a full breath here. Then softly open your eyes and release your hands to your legs. Draw your shoulders back and take ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. A few times, lengthening from the tip of your shoulder to your ear on each side. And then with your head in center, tuck your chin down towards your chest. You might have to move your hair out of the way but you're going to take your fingertips and at the base of your skull, the top of your neck, you're going to massage in little circles on either side of your spine. And slowly move your fingers down your neck, massaging little circles all the way till you get to the tops of your shoulders. And then make your way back up your neck towards your head. And then you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to tap your fingertips on either side of your spine, moving up and down the neck. Take some big breaths. Good. And then from there, you're going to make a C shape with either hand, and you're going to pinch, starting at the top of the neck, press into either side of the spine, and slowly make your way down, giving little presses to each side. And if you find a spot that's extra tight, you can hold it there. And maybe even add a gentle shake of your head. No. Good. Take one more big breath. And then go ahead and release your hand down. Inhale to your tall spine. Take your arms wide 
And as you take your hands towards the sky, you reach through your fingers and your side bodies. Then exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale and reach. And then exhale your hands directly out from your shoulders. Turn your palms so they're facing forward. And then start to reach your hands back behind you. So you're opening up through the heart space as wide as you can. On your exhale, you're going to take right hand over left, opposite arms or opposite hands to shoulders. And then draw your shoulders onto your back and lift your elbows so they're right in front of your neck. Then tuck your chin down towards your chest. You're going to let your low belly come in as you start to round through the spine. Take a big breath into your back body. Good. Inhale. Come back up to your tall seat. Open up wide through your arms and your heart. And then exhale, left hand over right this time. Opposite hands to shoulders. Lift your elbows and then draw your shoulders back. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. And then you're drawing in your abdomen. Your pelvis tilts back as you round through the spine. And then <clears throat> take a big breath into that space between your shoulder blades. Good. Inhale, come back up to your tall seat. Open up wide through the arms one more time. And then relax them down at your sides. Let's heel toe our knees a little bit wider. Bring your hands to your knees. We're going to do some gentle twisting. So let your pelvis tilt forward, lengthen through the spine. On your exhale, you're just going to gently twist to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Then exhale and twist to the left. Keep going with your breath. Slowly starting to warm up our spine here. Use your hands at your legs to help support you. And you can start to take those a little bit deeper if that feels good, or just keep them gentle. Shoulders on your back. Good. We're going to do one more on each side. And then come back to center, heel toe your feet back in. Use your hands to help cross right leg over left. And then again, let your low belly come forward. Left hand is going to come to your right knee or your thigh, right hand to your chair. And then draw in your abdomen. Use your exhale to twist as far to the right as you feel comfortable. Inhale and come back to center. Use your hands to help switch the cross of your legs. Lengthen through your spine and draw your shoulders back. Then right hand comes to left leg, left hand to your chair. Exhale and twist to the left as far as that feels good for your body today. Then inhale and come back to center. Help bring that footprint to the floor and we're going to stand up and come around to the very back of our seats for just a moment. With your hands on the back of your chair, take your feet hip distance apart and start to walk your hips backwards. Fold as far as you feel comfortable coming to this modified downward facing dog. And then pick up your toes and spread your toes and grip the ground with your feet. Give yourself a bend in the knees so you can rotate your inner thighs in towards one another and send your sit bones away from each other. And then from there, I want you to reach your hips away from your shoulders, lengthening through your sides, lengthen through the back of the neck, and take a big breath. Good. Bend your right knee, send your left hip back in space. Then bend your left knee and send your right hip back in space. Pen up your legs one more time on each side. And then with your hips back and center, take a little sway of the hips side to side. Good. 
and then the hips back in center. Inhale, start to walk towards your chin and come back up to standing. And then we are going to come around to the side of your chair. Either side works. Step your right foot forward. And then slide your left foot back two to three feet. And let your heel come down to the ground. Bend to your front knee. Your back toes are pointing out at an angle. And you want your front knee right over your shin. You can have your right hand at your chair, drop in your low belly, and start to turn your torso towards your seat. From there, inhale and take the left hand up towards the sky. And if you feel comfortable, you can move your right hand from your chair and reach through both hands. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Or just one, either way. Inhale and reach. Then exhale, release your hand to your hip. You're going to start to straighten your front leg. And then I want you to bump your back foot forward just enough so that you can have both toes pointing towards your chair. And then with your hands at your hips or a hand at your chair, I want you to draw in your little belly, start to hinge forward. Make sure you're not locking out your knees here, leaving a little bend in both legs. You can walk your hands down your chair or your thigh. Decide how far you're going to fold. Stay long through the spine so that your shoulders are back, heart comes forward. Good. And inhale, I want you to lift as high as you can with your <clears throat> left hand on your chair. From there, or you can always come up to a higher height if you've got a desk or a walk or something. But then from there, bring your right hand to your hip. Start to twist to the right as far as that feels comfortable for you. Now, if you can get your shoulders to stack, then maybe take your top arm towards the sky. But if, you, if that doesn't feel comfortable, just keep your hand on your hip. Doesn't matter how far you twist, whatever feels best in your body. Good, use an inhale to come back to center and walk your hands up your chair. Now you can stay right there where you are and switch sides. Left foot steps forward, bend into your back or front knee as you bring your back heel down to the ground. Toes pointing out at an angle. It doesn't matter the length of your stance, whatever feels better. About two to three feet. And then bend into your front knee so your shin is over your ankle. Draw in your low belly and let your heart turn towards your chair. You can lay the hand at your chair. Inhale, one hand up towards the ceiling or two. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Inhale and reach. Exhale, hands back to your hip and your seat. From there, start to straighten your front leg without locking out the knee. And then you're going to bump your back foot forward just so you can get both, toes, both toes, sets of toes pointing towards your chair. And then um, hands to your hips or to your seat. Walk your hands down as you start to fold. Keep pressing your feet into the ground, the inside edges and the outside edges. Good. Take some big breaths. Very good. On your next inhale, come back up to a little bit of a higher height. Again, you can have your hand wherever feels best. Left hand is going to come to your left hip this time. Lengthen through your spine. Draw your shoulders back as you start to twist to the left. You can leave your hand at your hip or if your shoulders are stuck, reach your top arm towards the sky. Good. Take a big breath in your revolved triangle. If you've extended your top arm, bring it back down to your hip. Inhale to come to center with your spine. And then walk your hands up your seat. 
up your legs to come to standing. Step forward and come around. Sit all the way back comfortably against your chair. Bring your hands together at your heart and close your eyes. And find a full breath. Honor yourself for taking this break. Namaste.